currently en route to Tesco in Warwick because I need to charge up my car. I've accepted my fate as a stupid electric car driver and realised that that's just what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to Tesco to charge up the car. I don't really know where I'm going today. We're on another car adventure. I'm going to do some car camping. No plan other than a bit of charge because I've the reason I'm down here, this neck of the woods, I've never, I'm not familiar with this part of the country whatsoever. Stephen is doing some single seat uh, driving on the Silverstone Circuit, which is like the home of the British Grand Prix, if you don't know, uh, tomorrow. And so he's doing it with his friends, but I have come down because I want to watch him do it. So that's why I'm around here. I'm also sticking around for a little bit longer because I'm doing something even more exciting. Well, I'm not more exciting, but just something exciting on Monday down here so I've got like the weekend down in this kind of area I don't know what's around here I don't know what I'm gonna do it's a complete mystery to me I'm hoping I think this is what I'm hoping anyway that this Tesco is near Warwick or near Warwick Castle I know Warwick's got a castle and then I can just leave it on like a slow well, when I say a slow charge, what I actually mean is a cheaper charge, but a cheaper charge is a slower Europe. charge. Take the second exit over away. away. I think I come up with a nice little plan for myself. I found that just from Tesco car park, there's, it's about a 20 minute walk along the river. Can you see the river? River Avon, that is. And it, it's about 20 minutes to the uh, to Warwick Castle. And then like to the Warwick Town Centre, so I'm gonna leave the car there on charge. I've set a timer on my phone for three hours because I can only have three hours parking at Tesco. I'm just gonna have a little wander along the river and to the town centre. I hope the weather stays nice because I've not brought a coat with me. This is lovely. Very unexpected. On the map I thought that the Tesco was really far away from the centre and it kind of is by road. This is a stunning place. It's got the river walk, there's like a big kids play area and loads of gardens and mini golf. It's so nice. I'm heading in the direction where I think the castle is. You'd think I'd be able to see it but there's too many trees. Tudor houses. It looks like Warwick might be full of them. I've just gone through that behind me that said Warwick Castle. I assume we're heading into the grounds. Warwick Castle. I don't think I'm going to be able to see it unless I pay to get through. I haven't got the time. Oh, we can sneak a peek through these gates. Oh, they're doing archery. These houses are amazing. Have a little wander around the town centre, I think, and then maybe loop back to the castle. Look at these houses. They're awesome. Whoa. Look at these buildings. They are the Lord Leicester in the 14th century. Timber framed medieval buildings that um, home to wounded military soldiers for over 450 years. Can you tell how much these are leaning on camera? It's crazy. best view we're going to get a bit I think. Sneaky through this gate. I'll have to come back and go inside. It's just started spitting a little bit so that was really good timing. I'm gonna, sorry I'm just eating a cereal bar. <laughs> I'm gonna unplug and then drive about half an hour more closer towards Silverstone because tomorrow is the day that Stephen's doing his drive and I want to be near to there in the morning. I don't really know where I'm going to park. It will probably be a kind of like residentially kind of place. 
Let's go and see. At the next lights, at the roundabout, take the third exit. I have arrived in Brockley, where I'm going to spend the night. I've just scooped out my spot. It's down this road here. But there's a Tesco car park just right there with a the pop point, so I've shoved my car to charge at the pop point. I'm just going to have a little wander around Brockley. Because it's a nice evening, I don't want to just be sat in the car. Down this road is where I'm going to be parked. It's a dead end. The reason I come to Brackley is because it's about 50 minutes away from Silverstone, so it's easy to get there in the morning. It's worked out really perfectly, to be honest. It's got a really, really good parking spot with a charging point just at Tesco. It's also the home of uh, Mercedes F1 team. It's where their factory is, so I'm going to have a little wander down there. Lot of drive, AMG Patronus Formula One team. Can't get in. It's all obviously all blocked off. Factories down there. Interesting. Oh look, champions. The roundabout has a Merc logo. That's cool. I'm back in the car at Tesco and my plan was just to sit here for a little bit whilst it charges but I'm again a little bit conscious of time because I, I've i got to get over to Silverstone early in the morning plus I want to get up at like half past three to watch the Chinese uh, Grand Prix sprint so I think what I am going to do instead is like the car's good it's got about like 150 odd miles and I was just trying to get it full but I think I'll just pack up from here go to the spot get my head down get to sleep and um hopefully be able to get up for the things that i need to get up for literally my parking spot where i'm gonna sleep is just around the corner so i'm gonna get the car set up and ready all here and then just drive around i need to show you i've got a bit of a change of a setup i was bringing like my big duvet and a cushion for my couch and stuff to sleep on but instead this time i have just brought this like glow up camping bed thing um, you know that you lie when you go camping i've just put a blanket over the top of it just to make it a little bit more comfortable i've still bought my pillow because i like a pillow and i've brought a sleeping bag instead of my duvet i'm hoping the sleeping bag will be warm enough now the weather's got a bit warm i think it should be uh, if not like, i can just put that blanket over me so yeah we'll see how the night goes with a little bit of a different setup this is my spot which doesn't look like much but look through here there's a lovely little lake I just saw swans oh I feel like I'm gonna have to go for a little wander before I settle down for the night just for five minutes or so I'm in bed. It's still light out, so it's very weird I'm trying to get to sleep when it's still light, but it is reasonably dark in here with all my window coverings. I think this setup might work. We'll see how comfy it is. I'm awake. Just. <laughs> it's 10 to 5. I finished watching the racing and come back to sleep for a couple of hours. Good morning. I'm pretty tired after getting up to watch the Grand Prix, or not the Grand Prix this been. It's half past six now. I've got to get up again to get organised and get over to Silverstone. I'll see you probably. I'm going to go to Tesco, get a little bit freshened up and stuff, and drive over to Silverstone, and I'll see you after I've done that. Oh. No wonder, I just felt a bit cold in the night, no wonder. Got icy.
morning in Silverstone. All oh, done. That was amazing. Such a good experience. Stephen and his mates had a great time, and it was. I'm so glad that I went to watch, and like I was able to get like some good pictures and shots of them going around the track. Anyway, I'm just sat charging the car whilst I'm sat here for a little while because I'm. This weekend, I think, is going to be. <laughs> I'm, it's turned into a bit, a bit of a logistical nightmare. Or just just busy of how I'm getting to places because I think I'm just waiting for a call back from my sister. She's down in London. She's been living down in London whilst the Renaults on the house have been going on, and it's the London Marathon tomorrow. I think I might head down <laughs> to London to watch the London Marathon. It's something I've always wanted to do, and because I'm down this way anyway, she suggested that it could be a good opportunity to do it. So I'm just waiting to hear back from her about that. And so if that's the case, it's like Saturday afternoon now. I'm going to have to find somewhere. Oh, she's calling me back. I'll speak to you in a minute. It's just... I wouldn't have a... I was going to say, but I wouldn't... I don't even know where where to go or time. I don't know anything about it, do you, in terms yeah. of where to go or no. timings or anything. It looks like I'm going to London tomorrow to watch the marathon. We've come up with a, a provisional plan of... I'm going to drive down to Stanmore, which is the station that we went to when, if you watched when we went to um, the Queen's, was it for the queue? I think it was for the queue for the Queen. We drove to that station. So I'm going to drive to Stanmore, sleep somewhere near Stanmore this evening, I think, and then get the train into London tomorrow. And then I've got another problem. <laughs> ah, another problem. I, a problem. It's, it's a nice problem to have. A problem for Monday morning because I'm actually flying somewhere on Monday morning from Luton so I need to figure out how that's going to work as well so I am actually going to sit in the car although it's a glorious lovely day although it is quite windy and a bit chilly it's a glorious day but I need to just sit in the car and get myself organized with where I can park for the airport and just stuff it seems like a lot I am off off to some woods <laughs> near Watford don't ask me why it is what is it a 58 minute drive away pretty much fully charged so that's good I've just been looking on my phone trying to get my head around the logistics of the next couple of days and I need to head south so I can be in London tomorrow and there was just some woods near Watford so I just figured I'm gonna go there maybe have a little wander whilst it's still nice around these woods I really feel like I want to get the car organized and I've got some food in my mouth you know, my teeth or something so um but I, I want to like them make sure my bag is properly packed for the flight that I'm catching on Monday and oh I feel a little bit overwhelmed <laughs> Where are we going? A5? A5 to London? On my drive, I'm trying drastically <laughs> to charge everything up. I've got my iPad, my battery, my phone, just everything is on charge whilst I'm driving because I'm running low. Was it yesterday? It seems like so long ago when I was out. But, because I'm not going to be there for a week or so, I just gathered all the vegetables in the bottom of the fridge. There wasn't that many, to be honest. I've left some for Stephen, because Stephen will be back on Monday. I just gathered everything up, so I'm just munching on all sorts of weird, random bits of salad stuff on this drive. It's a bit of traffic, to be honest. That's okay. I'm in the rush. Not today. Before you go. Well, that McDonald's was even. Oh, hang on. I think I should be going. Ah! I don't know where we should be going. I've turned my map off because I haven't got much battery. I think I'm going left. No, I think I'm driving into horrendous traffic. I've just driven over a bridge. I think it might be the M1. 
Oh well, I don't know which neck of the woods. I think. Oh no! I am going into it. Oh no! Why did it send me this way? Well, there's my queuing on the salary. I said I wasn't in a rush. Good job. Also, if you're not from England, do you like how we build our big buildings? This is like a big little warehouse or something. We build them like different shades of grey so it blends in with the <laughs> dull skies we have in this country. Well, it's not actually that bad. We're moving at a reasonably steady pace. I'll be up there in a few days. I've arrived. Whippendell Wood. Oh, it looks a bit of a squeeze. Go on, you can do it. To tell you that, but we made it. It's a busy little, busy little spot. This also, as I was driving. Oh, I'm going to to find some more. So I was driving along, it looks like there's so many uh, bluebells in these woods so I'm really excited to go and have a little um, walk around them because I love a bluebell, they're not called fields are they, what are they called? I don't know, a place where bluebells are. On the hunt for bluebells, I can already see quite a lot of scattered bluebells but I want to find like a big spread of them and then I need to get organised in the car, it's an absolute state it's a mess everywhere so i need to get a little bit organized it's amazing there's bluebells just everywhere i don't know how well you can see them but they're everywhere every spring it's on my list i've somewhere to go a place where loads of bluebells grow and I can never really find anywhere close to where we live so this is such a, a wonderful little find. This is what's so amazing about car camping is that this like randomly like I said before I have no idea why here just kind of found it came here and you can just wander around like when you've not got like a hotel to get to or a destination in mind you can just randomly stumble across places it's amazing places that you would just you know you wouldn't necessarily come to actually quite an interesting place these woodlands they were designated a site of special scientific interest because of the rare habitats and the the woodland that's here it's incredible it was also a filming site for the phantom menace where for the planet of naboo the outdoor scenes were filmed deer live here as well apparently imagine if we stumbled across a deer that'd be amazing i don't think we will i'm gonna get so lost uh, I've thought, sort of said to myself I'd stick to that main path but I'm not going <laughs> to, I've wandered off. Well, that was lovely but it's now time to sort this absolute chaos out that is the car. I've already dragged some bags out. I want to try and get, this is my flying bag so I want to try and get that completely organised and packed away because tomorrow's going to be busy. I don't want to be faffing with that tomorrow and then just generally get all the rubbish and just sort things out a little bit. I just dropped you in some nettles, that was nice.
I'm all organised. That feels nice to have a bit of a, a clean out and sort through. All organised with my bag to go away on Monday as well. It's just charges and stuff that I'll need to pack now. So I'm just going to enjoy myself here at the woods, I think. Now I'm all organised. I'm just going to relax here for a little bit and then head to find somewhere where I'm going to stay for the night. But it needs to be relatively near to Stanmore Station so I can get the train into London for the marathon tomorrow. So random. I am almost at or near Stanmore Station. I'm getting a bit concerned. I've sussed out a couple of places that may be all right to park, but because it is all quite built up, I feel like it might be kind of, it might have to be a residential kind of place, which I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see when we get there. I'm not a massive fan. I'd rather something a little bit more secluded not secluded because i don't want it to be like the only car there but either it's going to be like a camping place where there's vans or i don't know i don't know what makes the perfect spot to be honest or a good spot but none of these look particularly wonderful but we'll see as i'm driving there i'm like looking down side streets and things i think it's easy to overthink a space I don't want it to be obviously like outside someone's house that feels a bit weird and I, like I wouldn't want someone car camping by outside my house so not outside someone's house but I think there is actually quite a lot of like side streets there where there's like bushes and things so it would be all right to potentially go down there I'm heading to the one that I'd found on Google Maps but if it, that one doesn't look good in person I've potentially got a few little streets down there. For example, like this street would be rubbish because you, you'd be right outside people's houses and there's no hedges or anything. So I wouldn't park in this street. This is the street that I thought, oh, actually in person, it doesn't look good. See, that's the thing you can't really tell. I mean, just there would potentially be okay. Here, something like this, oh, I don't feel massively comfortable. Something like this would be all right because i'm not outside anyone's house there's a couple of like residential cars here and there's like fences on each side so i might i think i'm just gonna have a little look see if i can find anything better just thinking also it's quite nice to have like i don't want like a pavement on both sides of me it's nice if like one side is like right up against the hedge or a, a wall or something which you don't get in just like normal residential streets. So I'm moving on to see what else I can find. Okay, this place that I found the map is utterly rubbish in real life. <laughs> okay, I'm really, really struggling here to find anywhere. I've pulled over to see if I can like have a little look on the map and things. What I'm thinking now actually is I'm gonna be parked at Stanmore Station, train station tomorrow when I go into London. So I'm gonna, I think I'm like four minutes drive away from there. So I'm actually gonna go and see. I mean, if I've got to pay for overnight parking, I mean, I've, I've just got to pay. Um, I think it's like six pounds or something. I might just go there, you know, and park in the station car park. And then at least I'm just there in the morning and there's no driving or anything to do. It, that's, it could be beneficial. Let's go see. Oh my goodness, this is taking me ages to find Stanmore Station car park. I don't know why. Last time we came, I just found it straight away. But let's go and take a little peek. I'm parked up at the station. I was, I got here, went to go to the toilet. I can't get through to the toilet at the station because you have to swipe in and out. And <laughs> I was like, I, don't know, I just wasn't a massive fan of it. I came back and sat in the car and I was like, I don't know whether I like this or not. And then, so I was like looking for somewhere else to go. I'm having a nightmare. <laughs> and then Lara phoned my sister just to organise where we're meeting up tomorrow. And um, she's kind of talked me into that this could be an all right spot. So I think, I think I'm just going to like put the things along. The, well, not, I've put one on the window here and put my back one on. 
not going to put it all on quite yet. It's about, what, is it, is it what, eight o'clock-ish, something like that? Eight o'clock. I haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to, when I was organising the car before, I organised a bag of food that needs to be eaten before, uh, before like I finish car camping. I've got tomorrow car camping, but because I'm not going to be here, I'm going to be in London with my sister. So I've got some rice from home and some bits. I'm just going to sit in the car and eat <laughs> some rice <laughs> that, um, that I bought from home and um, charge up my phone and things ready for tomorrow and my camera and we'll see. I think I, I more like, the more I'm here, the better I feel about it. It's probably going to be noisy because the Jubilee line in the tube comes, it ends at Stanmore and it runs all night. But I'm going to stay here. Right now I'm going to stay here. I'll let you know if it changes. I was just thinking, there's nothing about this trip really that is um, car camping. It's more just <laughs> how to get to places and avoid paying for hotels. I haven't really done any like, I don't know, <laughs> camping. But hey, I was going to say it's working well, but it's not really, is it? <laughs> Good morning. Oh, it's about six o'clock. What am I doing? Oh. I had a pretty good sleep. I did stay at the train station. I don't think I ended up telling you what my decision was, but I stayed here. No problem at all. The noise wasn't an issue. In fact, I think I was asleep by like nine o'clock. Um, I woke up once. I was having some weird dreams. I can't remember what they were now, but weird dreams. Anyway, this, um, what's it called? A sleeping bag. Isn't wonderful compared to my duvet but I like that it's black I don't know why it feels like it's less obvious um, the duvet like, from outside the car it just takes up less space like it's alright I think I'm gonna there's a McDonald's about 5 minutes away 5 minutes walk oh. Excuse me, so I'm gonna, well I'm gonna stay in bed for a little bit longer I think because it's too cold out there <laughs> to get up but I'm gonna wander over to McDonald's and freshen up and I'm gonna watch the Chinese Grand Prix and then I'm gonna head into London for the marathon I'm not gonna put that, I was thinking I'm not gonna put that in this video because I feel like it's its own, own own separate video going into London to watch the marathon this walk isn't five minutes, it's more like 10, 15 minutes, but that's all right. I'm gonna sit in the car, watch the Chinese Grand Prix, and then head in to London. I think I will see you Maybe I'll put a little bit in of the marathon and in London, but I'll see you afterwards. What a great day that was, <laughs> going into London for the London Marathon. Such an amazing atmosphere everywhere. Oh, it was fantastic. I'm back to the car pretty late. It's about quarter to nine-ish, something like that, much later than I thought. I am just gonna get into bed. I was planning on moving from here, but I'm just gonna stay, stay where I am, get my head down. I've gotta be up at about three, because I've got a flight to catch tomorrow. So I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one where I won't be car camping. I'll be abroad somewhere. Bye.